What is model-based system engineering? We'll get into an overview next. Model-based system engineering. So what exactly is it? This is the overview. So really, um, MBSE is kind of a technology, it's very much a technology-led initiative. Um, if you look at how system engineers have kind of documented their definition of a product from RFLP, so requirements, a logical kind of architecture, uh, functional architecture, and then a physical architecture. They're all kind of interconnected. The tools that have traditionally been used have been spreadsheets uh, and documents. Um, and those tools have worked pretty well. And there might have been some, some homegrown solutions as well that, have, that were developed uh, inside manufacturers. Um, and those solutions kind of did the job, especially at a first pass, to let a system engineer kind of define all those things in an interconnected way. The issue uh, that became very prominent and people became very aware of very quickly is that uh, when things start to change, propagating change and making sure that everything is kept up to date is very difficult. We're talking about systems that are very, very complex with lots of requirements, lots of different architectures, um, lots of different items and physical architectures. How do you ensure that everything is kept up to date? That was the big challenge. Manually propagating change was the tremendous problem. You had all sorts of missed changes. You had introduction of human error because people were entering these values in manually. Um, so that was the challenge that MBSE kind of wanted to address. Uh, the idea with this technology is to have a single unambiguous model of RFLP requirements, logical architectures, functional architectures, physical architectures, and um, be able to manage all of that basically in kind of one place technologically. You have one definition that everybody in the company kind of um, references that changes uh, and there's no manual propagation of change that's the idea so this it it's kind of uh, like a single source of the truth uh, the equivalent might be data management or product lifecycle management uh, except that this is the definition and it's the way that everybody accesses it so that's the high level overview of model based system engineering uh, in just a couple minutes. Take care. Talk soon.